Hi everyone, Brenda Sanchez, Certified Training Partner with Mailbox Power. And today I want to show you how to build a birthday automation. So today I am in my Mailbox Power account and I've come to Design Catalog, which is on the left, and I clicked on Recently Added. And I'm going to come up here and search for a design. I'm actually going to type LRC. Why? Because that's a designer that I know I like their design. So if I hit return, this brings up all the designs by LRC. And so I'm going to scroll down here and find, I had found it the other day. I'm going to find the birthday. There it is. So here's the birthday and half birthday that I want to use. So I'm going to start with the birthday. And I don't own a design license yet. It is a one-time fee of $2.49, and then you own it for life, very much like buying an iStock photo or something like that. You own it. You can modify it. So I'm going to hit purchase a design license. This is not the cost to send it each time. It is just the one-time cost to own the license, to pay the designer for their effort in building the design. Now, once I have that design, you're going to see that I have some checkboxes. I can edit them. I can add them up to the cart, or I can create an automation. So today, I'm going to pick the card and the Blondie Brownie. And I'm going to say create an automation. And I'm going to say, yes, let's do it. And now it brings me up and now I can create and I got to give it a name. So I'm going to call it birthday demo because this is my demo. And I'm going to come down here. It's got the card and the blondie brownie and I'm going to hit next. And now I want to create a birthday automation. So this will go out every single year for anybody you add to this automation as long as you've added their birthday to the system. So this will go out every single year. Anniversary works exactly the same way. It's based on an anniversary date. You can either send for a wedding anniversary or the anniversary for the business or them becoming a client. And again, this goes out every single year. You just change out the card and the gift once a year, and then everybody in that automation gets the new card and gift that you want to send out. So I'm going to scroll down here and hit next. Now it asks me, when do I want to send these? And I want to send it seven days before the birthday. It's automatically set for that. If you wanted to change it to 10 days just to make sure it gets there in time, especially if you're sending overseas, you might want to even pick 14 days. So now I'm going to hit next. And now I get to choose a group to associate with that automation. So now I'm going to come up here and say create a new group because I like it to be called the exact same thing as my automation so that I know what is going out. And then I'm going to hit next. And now, as you can see, I've got a birthday demo automation with a birthday card that goes out 10 days before the birthday. And today, I'm not going to make this live yet because I want to show you how to add a half birthday to this automation. So I'm going to hit submit. And it brings me up to my automations. And now if I come over here to options and I say view shipments, now I can add another shipment. So again, I'm going to say um, add a shipment. And I happen to know that I already have that half birthday in my account. So I'm going to say half birthday demo. And this one, I want to go out six months before the birthday. Why? Because if I meet somebody today or I add somebody into this birthday automation today and their birthday was a week ago or a month ago, I don't want it to be a whole year before they get 
a birthday card from me. So I'm going to do six months prior, and then I'm going to say add a saved project. And now I'm going to look for all of my half birthday cards. And I'm going to come down here. And there it is right there. And I'm going to add it. Now I want to add a treat to this. So I already have the card. How do I add another project? Well, I'm going to go right here to add a saved project. And then see it brought up the same list and there's the Blondie Brownie. So I'm going to hit add. And now you're going to see that I have a card and a Blondie Brownie. So this will go out all together. If you have four or five different things you want to go in that shipment, and a shipment is a box to go out, um, everything you want in that box should be in this shipment of the automation. So now I'm going to hit save shipment and you're going to see the birthday has a birthday and a blondie and the birthday, the half birthday has a birthday card and a blondie. And again, I'm going to come up here to options and now I'm going to activate it. And now you can add contacts or groups to that automation and we will share how to do that in a future video.